Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Moradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine and welcome to my channel. I love this for you, I love this for everyone, I absolutely adore fashion, we're talking about fashion over here, styling, styling tips, healthy formulas and specifically today we're talking about foolproof, beautiful and also kind of trendy healthy formulas for this fall slash like transitional period, which is honestly my favorite period because of the versatility of things you can wear so without further ado let's go into the tried and true alpha formulas for this fall And the first outfit formula is as follows, a fitted top, so this could be a polo top, this could be a tube top if you're in the like warmer countries, and then a knee length pencil skirt, so any color, any texture, etc, etc, and then knee high boots, 90s style knee high boots. And this first outfit formula is very 90s inspired, 90s coded, it's so beautiful and minimalistic, but it could also be brightened up by color and texture, it could also be kind of elevated in a way by different styles and different shapes of these things and also prints obviously and it could be very minimalistic very 90s so all gray tonal beautiful understated this is such a feminine classy balanced outfit formula that i absolutely adore and you can obviously especially when it's colder you can obviously wear like a fitted or semi-fitted leather coat over it 90s style with a baguette back this will be such a beautiful look i'm actually thinking of recreating this specific outfit formula and outfit formulas are beautiful in a way specifically because and i've been talking about outfit formulas for such a long time on this channel but also even more my main channel and my main channel is ukrainian channel because i'm from ukraine and that channel has been existing for the last almost like nine to ten ish years i want to say maybe and i've been talking a lot about outfit formulas they're absolutely beautiful and the concept of outfit formula is is such that when you have a specific silhouette and type of a clothing item you can substitute and kind of experiment with different things within this item but the silhouette stays the same the shape stays the same therefore you can create multiple outfits within the alpha formula so for example when you say a fitted top this could be a polo top this could be a turtleneck this could be a sleeveless top let's say this could be a um, long sleeve this could be a t-shirt whatever Whatever it is it has just to be fitted that's the whole thing and then you can substitute different things as suits you your climate whatever you need and same goes for all the other things so for the shoes for the boots the knee-high boots those could be let's say suede this could be green uh, these could be definitely black and matte leather whatever they are if they fit in the alpha formula they fit so you can always mix and match within the alpha formula and that's the beauty of the alpha formula and then the next one that's very in at the moment it's actually been in this whole time it's very classy it's timeless it's a cotton shirt and then jeans and jeans obviously when i say i'm saying jeans i'm not specifying which type of a jean or which silhouette because you have to choose something that works for you the most trendy ones are kind of mid-waisted straight or I'd say boot cut-ish, like 2000 style and 90s style. But then again, you have to make do with what works for you and your body's proportions. So let's say just a shirt. I'd say not an oversized shirt, but a straight cut shirt, then jeans, and then a trench coat plus cowboy boots. And this one is very important specifically because these cowboy boots are actually the thing that's balancing out the whole outfit because jeans are very casual, then trench coat is very classy, the shirt is very classy as well, and we're lacking that kind of proportion. The whole outfit is screaming to be balanced out by something very dimensionally different. It's screaming for something daring or edgy, etc. So we're adding something that's very western and dramatic and not classy at all in order to balance out the rest of the outfit. And then the next half of formula is very dramatic, but it could actually be worn in a very funky way with different colors and textures. Just keep this in mind. An all leather, total leather outfit with a fitted or semi-fitted shirt, 
leather shirt specifically, and then leather pants. And those could be any kind of a leather pant that you want, unless those are skinny leather pants, like skinny leggings, and they do not necessarily work with the selfie formula unless you're tucking them into knee-high boots or something that is going to cover the bottom of the leggings. But I'm actually talking about straight leather pants, oversized leather pants, any kind of a leather pant that works for you, obviously. This is the beauty of the outfit formula. And then a leather shirt and then maybe leather boots or leather shoes, ballet flats, leather sneakers, whatever works for your booties. And this is going to be such a beautiful, sophisticated, very matrix-coded formula for me specifically. It's very sexy, but it's also balanced because it's structured, because the leather is a very structured material. The next type of formula is very out there, it's also very trendy, or at least it has one item that's specifically very trendy at the moment. It's a feminine dress, let's say something flowy from the summer, something that you're still very attached to, and then a flowy, let's say a flowy summer maxi dress or midi dress, and then combat boots. Those are very moto boots specifically, very popular at the moment. Both of them are inspired by Miu Miu, they're absolutely everywhere, they're in urban outfitters, they're in all the brands that you can imagine, obviously mass market, Zara, Mungo, whatever you want it, name it, it's in there. And those, I just need to say that specifically these moto style boots are going to be out of fashion, out of trend, I'd say, very, very soon because of the amount and the pressure that this trend, the chokehold that this trend has on people and the common population. So I would say that you do not necessarily need to invest in these things unless this is going to be a part of your style, of your style DNA. And then this could be a leather jacket, but if you're feeling more adventurous, a leather blazer just to balance out the modernness, the dramaticness, the grunginess of the outfit. But actually, the dress is balancing out everything beautifully because the dress is romantic and something that's grungy is an, an absolute different end of the spectrum. Therefore, this is such a beautiful company. They accompany each other beautifully. And then the last type of formula I'm going to talk about is coat worn as a dress. And yes, it's totally possible. And I'm not obviously talking about like a very warm woolen coat, but something like a leather coat, lighter cotton coat, even a trench coat, and then ballet flats or like any kind of a minimalistic shoe. I'd say ballet flats just because they're so, so, so barely there and they're so romantic and minimalistic as well. And if this coat is leather and the shoes are leather, you're going to also tip into that whole all leather trendy outfit as well, which is going to be such a bonus. And I feel like this is a beautiful outfit formula for people who are having a bit of a different lifestyle and who have some kinds of outside events like presentations and stuff and you need to be also dressed up for the outside. This is an outside focused outfit formula for sure. Let me know in the comments below which outfit formula speaks to your soul and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.